Jan Ozer here. In this tutorial, you learn how to maximize the brightness and contrast of your video in Final Cut Pro 10. I'm working with video I recently shot of local Democratic congressional candidate Anthony Flaccavento. I shot it indoors under fluorescent lights, and while the color balance is fine, it lacks contrast and it's pretty noisy. We'll deal with the noise issue in a later tutorial. Now one definition of contrast is the differential between the brightest and darkest pixels in the image. And you can see that most clearly in the histogram scope. So let's open that. I'll go to Window, Show Video Scopes, and we're set to Histogram with Luma in the channel. So this is uh, measuring the brightness here. Now what the histogram does is show you the distribution of the brightness, in this case, of the pixels along a range from minus 25, which is blacker than black, 0 is pure black, 100 is pure white, and 125 is brighter than white. Now these clumps tell you this is the range of pixels at that brightness value. So in a, in a well-lit, well-contrasted image, you'd want to see a, a good distribution of brightness pixels from 0 up to 100, particularly because we see black here, we see black here, and we see very few, if any, pixels here at the zero IRE level, which is where the black should live. So this tells us that the image lacks contrast. It looks dingy. It, it's just not all that striking. Now we know the black should be here. Now this clump is probably the grays, biggest concentration of pixels in the image. This clump here is the whites. Now white should be under optimal lighting at around 100 IRE. So we see we have a problem with that. And the third thing you look at when you're, when you're looking at how well lit your image is, is the face. And we can't see a lot of details in the face in this particular scope. It tells us that we lack contrast, and we'll come back to this in a moment. But when I'm adjusting brightness for facial regions, I want to move to a waveform. And what the waveform does, it shows you the same basic brightness information, but it shows you the brightness of the pixels at their respective location in the frame. So if you look at these pixels here, you know they relate to the whiteboard here. These pixels here, the black line here, and these brownish pixels here are the candidate's face. Now, typically when you're shooting with your zebra stripes on a shoot, you want to get the facial exposure close to around 70 to 75 IRE at the brightest regions. So here we're a little bit, you know, we're in this range here probably at 60 IRE, so I'd want to boost that. So if I was trying to fix this image, I would want these whites here to be at 100, I want these blacks here to be at 0, and I want the facial regions to be in the 70 to 75 range. Let's look at the tool set Final Cut Pro 10 gives us to accomplish that. Now, here are the color controls. Here's how you turn the inspector on and off. You know, click the clip in the timeline, click the inspector, and here are the controls. Now, color correction, there's, there's nothing going on here. The first thing you always want to try is balance. So let Final Cut Pro do the work, click this, and we can see that we push the pixels down here, but the whites that we want to be up at 100 IRE still aren't there. The facial regions got pushed down along with the blacks. So we have some work to do. So I'm going to disable this and then enter the color board. And there's three regions in the color board. There's color. This image is fine color-wise, so we're not going to touch that. There's color saturation, and then there's exposure. Now all of Final Cut Pro 10's color board control gives you three or four adjustments. And this is an overall adjustment. This would increase brightness and darkness throughout the entire image. And then you have control over the shadows, which typically most people call the blacks, the highlights, which, which I'll call the whites, and then the midtones, which are areas between the, the darkest and the brightest pixels. Now all these adjustments are going to focus primarily in the area that they're focused, right? So these highlights are going to, you know, if we adjust those, we're going to adjust primarily the whites, but you'll see that all other pixels are adjusted. However, the, the concentration of adjustment is in the region that it's focused on. Drag this down. Now I'm going to start with the blacks. So we know this should be right around 0 IRE. We know that this should be right around 0 IRE. We know that this should be right around 0 IRE. So I can adjust the black simply by dragging the shadows control and dragging that down and we can immediately see the image looks more contrasty because there's, more, there's a greater range between the whites and the blacks in the scene. I want to push this close to the zero IRE range. 
and we can see the face is too dark here, the whites are too dark here, but we're going to fix that next. So let's go to the highlights, and this is the whites, and we're going to boost those up to at or close to 100 IRE. Now typically, you never want to go above 100 IRE because that crushes the detail in the region that you're that you're boosting over 100 IRE, you lose the detail. Fortunately here, there is no detail on the whiteboard. We can still see the detail here in these whites. So we're probably okay boosting up to even here. And now we can concentrate on the face. Face is still a little bit too dark. And what I like to do is find a region where the candidate is being pretty perky and moves around a lot. And then you can see in the waveform monitor that the face is here. And what we want to do is we want to grab the midtones control and boost that up. And again, you can see we're pulling the blacks off the zero IRE and we're boosting the whites a little bit, but the concentration of the adjustment is in the midtones region. And I want to get the facial region in the 70 IRE range at its max. Let's see how we're doing. And he's wearing a white shirt, so that's moving as well. But the, you know, that looks to be in an, in an acceptable range. We saw that we pulled the blacks off the zero IRE, so let me pull those down. And that's what our image looks like. Now, if we come back and turn it on and off, we see that we started here. Our blacks were way off the zero IRE, the whites were way off the 100 IRE, and the midtones were too low, and we ended up here. And if we go back to our histogram, where we first saw that we lacked contrast, we see that we have blacks in the zero IRE range. We see that the whites are primarily around the 100 IRE range, and that we haven't affected you know, the grays all that much. We've boosted them a little bit, but we got the face in the 70 to 75 IRE range, whites are at 100, blacks are at zero, and overall the image has a much better contrast. Okay, so the histogram and the waveform are simple tools that provide the clear input you need to diagnose and fix the contrast issues in your video. In just a few moments, we went from this to this, and we did it simply and intelligently. Next time up, we'll tackle the noise issue. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.